Hello and welcome to Link's Awakening Switch version. We just beat the face shrine and we're gonna go get some stuff to start the next dungeon. Right here we have a bunch of holes we couldn't get across before, but we can get across now. Here is the signpost maze. Let's kill some guys and get out of our way before we start. We follow the signs exactly to the T or else we have to start over. Go down. There's the next sign down. Go right. Here's the next sign right. Go down. Here's the next sign exactly down from that sign. Go left. Here's the next sign exactly down from this side. Go up from here. Well, we have to take a little side tour to get there. From this sign, we go up to this sign, go right from the sign, not this sign, it has to be from the sign to the next sign. We go down. Go right. And go up. Left. Go down. Go right. Now it's not this sign. It's the sign that's on the same level as this sign. So it is this sign. Go down. Go right again from the sign, not from below it. Great, you did it. Your award is this way. And now the draining of the swamp. And now we meet our arch nemesis from Super Mario Brothers 2, Wart. Ribbit, ribbit, I'm Mamu on vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. Well, we have no choice but to pay him, because this is the only way to get the key to the next dungeon. What do you say? I'll pay. You've been a wonderful audience. No encores. <laughs> You've learned the Frog Song of Soul. It's a very moving tune. It can even liven up unliving things. If you play this song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. Ah, <laughs> fall my hole again. Gosh, he's spawning there. Makes me go around here, right? Oh my gosh. 
gosh, Link, you move so slowly. Now that we got the song, let's do a sidetrack. Let's get sidetracked by side quests. We've placed a boo down. Now it should show another. We have a blooper. Last time I tried to get this, my other account, it was hard. Try again. I'm gonna get the purple rupee first. Oh my gosh, this happened last time exactly the same way. Got the blooper. Blooper. Oh. Challenge again? No. Mm. Just give me a holler whenever the mood strikes you to play. You got a blooper figure. It's not as menacing outside of the water. Place the blooper inside of the old man's hut. Now comes the side quest that we'll have to cut a lot out of. Hmm. I had a really hard time catching the cheap cheeps when I was practicing. Cheap cheeps, they're so mean. And then you have to wait for the chance that they might come back over here. So dumb. We finally caught a cheap cheap! That was the hardest thing I caught last time. I need to catch a blooper though, and no one, none of them showed up. You caught a cheap cheap since when did they swim in these waters? Wow, a 23.21 inch fish, that's a lunker. Quite a catch, that one will earn you 30 rupees. Hmm, is there something caught in the cheap cheap's mouth? It's a secret seashell! I know what you're thinking. We already got the sword, what is the point of keeping Collecting seashells, well, there is a 50 seashell reward, which is probably just a chamber stone that no one cares about. Hmm. I'm gonna change lore. Oh, man, I... I'm hoping a blooper shows up eventually. We'll cut to when I see one, I guess.
Here comes the blooper. moving any closer to me. I'm pressing the button as hard as I can. Break my line, you slimy bloopy. Finally! Jeez Louise! That's a big old blooper. You caught a blooper, usually it's the other way around. Oh, 45.11 inches. It's a big one. Way to reel them in. Let me fish around in my wallet for a nice reward. How 60 rupees sound. Blooper, huh? Good one. I'll hook you up with a new lure for that. Oh, we got the heavyweight lure! This is what you need to catch the deepest dwelling fish. This is the first time you land in one of these sides, huh? Let's mark the occasion with a secret shell. Oof, now my arm hurts. But now we have the heaviest lore. And later on, there's a bigger fish, really big blue fish that's in there. That I think you need the heavyweight lure to get. But I don't think it appears yet. So we're not going to do that. Now that we got that fish, we can open this. We can push this. And there's a secret cave underneath the weather vane. Sigh. Bones of a chicken. But we just got a song that lets us wake up the undead. Magical chicken! Wow, the rooster has recovered. He seems very friendly. I guess it's not a chicken, it's a rooster. Alright, sorry. I'm looking at my guide. There's a bottle we can get by completing more Dompe things, but I don't think we're gonna do that right now. I don't really need a third bottle, and I don't want to play Dompe's game right now. Um, we can still warp, though. Not like that. Warp over by Dombe's shack. Get up the mountain where we need to be. Piece of power! I have the power! Link man! Link man! Hoot hoot! 
Your path is not easy, but you are almost there. Go east, the windfish is getting restless. The rooster is so far behind us. Helps us take the key to the next dungeon. In case you weren't aware that that's what we're trying to do, even though I already told you that's what we're trying to do. We can actually lift him and fly across here and not use our hookshot. And we got a rope. Very nice. There's a few things we can do here now. Not that one. Go past the angler's tunnel. You know what? I was calling this angler's cave before, and I realized that in the original Game Boy one, it was called angler's cave, and now they changed it to the tunnel. Interesting. Now over here, let's see, shall chime chimed, and we can swim down and get. A secret seashell under the waterfall. Here's another. Whoa, get that the rooster. I don't know if the rooster can get hurt, but just in case. Head up here. All of these are traps, by the way. This is a secret seashell. Woohoo! Get a cross over here. I don't know if it, it like runs out. I don't think. Come on, roost. Need ya. And here we are. We got the key. The bird key. dead end that shows that the key's there. You're like, oh, how do I get over there? The gap is too big. There's that seashell chime again. Bomb. Throw it in the hole. And a seashell comes out. Wait, 
think we can go over here and get another one. Now we have 47 seashell. Oh, I think that that should be. See that there is the dungeon right here. This dungeon is really confusing, I remember from the original. So I'm not looking forward to this dungeon tomorrow. Back to the cave where we found our first sea or second seashell up here. First one was in the waterfall. We don't go up there into that secret cave. We go out all the way over here. Oh man. Guy says, Are you near the Eagle's Tower? Beware of the bird. I'm holding the bird. We go up here. shadow. And here we can go down this cave. The line across. over here we are up by the dungeon I don't know if we need this bird anymore and the white's still following us Bird key fits. Up goes the tower. I guess it just turns around. And here we are at the Eagle's Tower, which we will start in the next episode. See you guys tomorrow, where we start the most confusing dungeon. This dungeon might be two episodes long. This is a very tall tower. I don't remember that. It being very easy to navigate around. I feel like we'll get lost in it. So we'll do that tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't take more than an episode, but it might take more than one episode to do this dungeon. See you then. Bye!